Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Mr. Secretary, welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks. Good to see you, Stuart. China says their official state media says, hey, you, America, we'd really like you to roll back those tariffs on December the 15th. Why are you laughing? I'm sure they would like it. <laughs> Is it going <laughs> to so happen? Would I, if I were there. Is it going to happen? I think it all depends on their behavior between now and then. If they make a real deal that is a deal that we can live with and is enforceable. Are you talking now about up. intellectual property? Well, that, that first of, of all, deal? let's start just with agriculture. They promised 40 to 50 billion of agriculture. That's really an essential ingredient to any deal. Some parts of IP and the other structural reforms will likely be in phase one, but for the most part, they'll be in a later phase. So the real question is how far do they go this phase and especially how enforceable? How far have they gone so far? Well, you don't have a deal on anything till you have a deal on everything. So they're making progress, but it's one step forward, one step backward. I do think the president is 100 percent right. They want to make a deal. Question is, do they want to make a deal we can live with? Have you any idea when a phase one deal might be signed? Can you give us any input on that? Well, you have a logical deadline December 15th. If nothing happens between now and then, the president has made quite clear he'll put the tariffs in, the increased tariffs. So, he, wait a second. so the ball is in China's court? Absolutely. You're absolutely. just waiting for them to come up with something that allows we, we, these... we need an overall package that meets our requirements for the phase one. Mm -hmm. And if so, well, a lot of things might be possible. But it's great that he has the hammer of December 15th, because that's a real hammer. The won't interfere with this year's Christmas. Nobody's reordering stuff after the 15th of December. Mm -hmm. Retailers have stocked up. So it's a very good time if we have to put more tariffs on. But you think the president is in a strong position, our president, very strong position because we've got a very strong economy. We have a very strong economy and they have lots of problems. The hollowing out of their supply chains is quite considerable. I was just in Vietnam a few weeks ago. They're a very major beneficiary of the hollowing out of the Chinese supply chain. Malaysia is getting some, even Bangladesh is getting some. So that's a structural problem that's not going to go away for the Chinese. Second, there's too much debt in the economy, in the Chinese economy. Okay. They've got a real problem with that. Third, they really have had their own consumer confidence hurt severely. So you notice every month they're marking down the rate of manufacturing growth, marking down the rate of GDP growth. My own guess is it's probably slower than what they're letting on to. As Commerce Secretary, would you be allowed to handicap the likelihood of a China trade deal <laughs> this month? Are you allowed to do that? Because our viewers, are, you know, we're all confused about this headline, that headline. I, they I do think this, what people we do should that. focus on, what's important is to get the right deal you can always get a deal quickly. But so meeting a December 15th deadline would be easy. All we have to do is roll over. The key is to get the right deal, whether it's by December 15th or it's later. And that's what the president's made clear throughout. Early this morning, the president reimposed tariffs on steel imports coming to us from Brazil. Right. Brazil is an ally. The new president of Brazil is a strong supporter of President Trump. Was our president taking a deliberately strong line, symbolically, to say to China, look, we'll deal with allies like this. We'll certainly deal with rivals like you. Well, even our friends must live by the rules. Our best allies must also live by the rules. I believe what the president was concerned about was the deterioration in the Brazilian currency. Yep. And that's a fair factor to take into account. It's a real factor. The lower their currency, the cheaper their products coming in, he felt he had to do something about it. And they're not the only one where there are currency uh, issues. For the moment, I don't know that China is such a bad problem with currency, but they have been in the past. Are you enjoying your life in Washington? 
We, we are. Most days are good. Some days the poison darts get out, and that's a little hard. <laughs> See, I, before the Trump administration, you used to sit with me on right. this show, sure. and we talk about the state of the economy. You're all smiles. We always said, oh, the billionaire, Wilbur Ross, is joining us now. Are you still a... <laughs>